Joel Embiid going to play and hoping to turn the tide on the road. Home has been where the heart is and the winds are, but we're all in some way, shape, or form, after all, holding out for a hero. This hero. Tyler Hero and company, the Heat. What do you mean, so so, Ken? It's just a good transition. It's like Bonnie game. Tyler's a little bit before like your that. time. Zeke knows. We've got much. I young need and old a hero. Gather together with center court. Let's go. Welcome inside our studios <laughs> on a Monday post Super Bowl. I'm sorry, did you say something? I, I missed that. Hi, Zeke. What's up? G Hill. Hello. Candace, you're here too. Thank you. Uh, we got a lot to get to because. These two teams have played tight games so far this year. And there was, after a football game, a couple of fumbles late by Embiid that blew one of the games they've played with each other. You know who never fumbles? 3D. And, and I mean the LifestyleBrand.com, who joins us. He is 3D. out there in the land of the Super Bowl. Where Look at that jacket. From all Looking of the traffic. Good, Hello, 3D. D. Looking, Looking that jacket. good, 3D. So <laughs> we've talked about the home records 3D, and obviously DZ... You want that, but when you pack a bag, you're not supposed to forget your game. What's happened? Well, one thing that the, the Sixers are trying to do, uh, Casey, is they're trying to get in some type of unity. When Embiid was out, we saw Ben step up. Now Embiid's back. He's trying to figure out how do both those guys play well, play together. And then you look at Tobias Harris, he's just out there hooping. You look at Al Horford, he's been the rock of this whole team. So when you look at them in the sixth spot, guys, most people are surprised because there's so much talent there. But somehow, some way, they have to figure out to get on the same page if you want to take these guys serious going deep in the Eastern Conference. DZ, obviously we know about load management for some, like Kawhi, the, the formula, keep it where it is, it's worked perfectly. For others, there's been that question, what's the sense you get right now about the relationship between Big Ben and Big Joel? Because without that, everything else probably right. I mean, to use the old commercial, be uncivilized. Well, the relationship's great off the court. Let's just call it what it is. You see him hanging out. You saw him at the Super Bowl. Everyone's having a good time. But on the floor, they're still trying to figure out how can they coexist. Because let's face it, we want to see Ben take more shots. Or more importantly, just get to his sweet spot on the floor and continue to attack the way we've seen, get to the basket, using the left-hand, right-hand floaters, and sharing the basketball. But Isaiah and Grant and Candace, you know this. If Ben Simmons really wants to help this team go deep in the playoffs, he has to get better at the free throw line because he will get fouled as the season wears on. So that's the biggest thing for me. And I know people, a lot of people are talking about the three-point shot. As much as I love it, guys, I'm not worried about it. I'm worried about the free throw line more than the three-point shot. Dennis, look forward to the broadcast. Always appreciate it, buddy. Be well. All right, guys. There he is, 3DLifestyleBrand.com. And the lifestyle of doing well at home, as you know, as athletes, it's important. Got to take care of business at home. And we show you that and then some. Take a look. Team Stack Comparison presented by our friends at Fox Bet. I would say this would be something you'd be interested in. Combined 43 and 5. Quick math. I know they taught you that at Duke, G. Um, <laughs> what's the most important thing on a positive, because there's a negative, the road record not the same, of the way both have played at home? What does it tell you about a team to be that good at all? Well, that's what you want in the playoffs. Obviously, you fight for home court advantage. Philly right now in the sixth spot. But to be able to win at home is in, in crucial. And this team is dominant, as good as any NBA team, Philadelphia at home. Uh, they shot the ball well. They feed off the energy. They play good defense. It's just when they go on the road, that can be a problem. And, and continuity, Candace, right? Because it, take me through. You think about it's human nature to understand, okay, bonding, togetherness, we're out on the road. If it's not so together, it, it may be a longer road. And for Philly, as, as Dennis broke down, anywhere they play, that's still the question, right? Well, I think that that boils down to usually role players play well at home and your stars play well on the road and at home. And when you don't have a one man on the, the totem pole, meaning Embiid and Ben Simmons, it's kind of been up and down all year of who is going to t kind of take the reins of the team Who's going to be the leader? Who's going to be the one that steps up on the road? And, I mean, that's evident. As a, as, a, as a star player, as a person that leads, you know, in points per game, you have to almost step it up on the road more so than you do at home. Yeah, you, you know, you, you talked about leadership, and that was the question that we asked early in this season. Okay, who's the leader? I mean, they, they have good players. They actually have great players. Uh, but when you say the the leader of the team is, who do you point to? 
Is it Ben? Is it Embiid? Is it Al? I mean, who, who's the person that they say, okay, this is the guy? And most winning teams, most winning organizations. And we just watched it in the Super Bowl the other day. I mean, Mahomes was the leader. And he may have not had the greatest Super Bowl game ever, but at the end of the day, the Chiefs players looked to him and said, okay, we're going to follow you. When you look at Philadelphia right now, although they have great players, who's the leader? Well, it's interesting. Two years ago, this team was on the outside of the playoffs looking in. They got hot at the end of the season, got into the postseason, lost to Boston, and then all of a sudden, everyone's anointing them as the, the favorite to come out of the, you know, the Eastern Conference. Had a great series last year against Toronto, but Jimmy Butler was that leader. He was that guy, Isaiah, that you're talking about that can galvanize the mm -hmm. team, that will speak up uh, in the huddles, in the, lo in the locker room. And so now you, 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 you get rid of him and you, you, know, you bring in the Al Horford, who's a great addition, but just they don't have that guy. And I, I still feel like they're going, they're learning. They, they, they have to learn sort of what it takes to become an elite team. Elite team brings it every time, yeah. particularly on the road. Yes. To have the, the biggest home road split in the league like, that's just, for, for a team that's trying to be elite, a championship caliber team, that's just unacceptable. I think it's probably maturity, which will come with time. I, I want to point something out. If we can show the board of the standings again, guys, upstairs, I, I want to point something out. Look at the old school. Uh, Candace, we've got young kids. What's wrong with this picture? If you look at the standings that we showed here, it's the league where we do this. Orlando kind of has overachieved, has achieved as much as they can. Nate after Paul George, without Oladipo, etc. Miami and Spo all the time. Brooklyn, injuries all year, right? Boston, same thing figuring out. Lose Kawhi, no problem. Lowry, no problem, etc. And there's one team that's totally the opposite. Mm. Underachieving. Yep. Isn't that a problem? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a big problem because everything that you you thought that you were going to get by having so many bad seasons in a row where you were able to go into the lottery, able to, to pick players, and, and supposedly you were going to build the championship team. Well, now that these guys are of championship age where they should be competing and winning championships, you're not getting there. So did the experiment work? Right now, you have to say, no, it did not. Now, if you want to be mediocre and say, well, it got us to the playoffs and, you know, we're, we're a little bit better, but you're not at the elite level of the league and you tank to get to the elite level of the league, league by getting this type of talent. And the other part is Ben Simmons, for all the well off the court, doesn't do enough of this. On the court, plays hard. Embiid, sometimes you're load managing without load management. On defense, question. Let's go, no question. Bam Adebayo keeps good company. If you don't believe me, take a look at this graphic because he's hanging with a nun and a hero. And Candace, he's also been a hero. And the thing about Bam that's great is he has shown abilities people didn't think he had, right? I mean, everybody looked at him like Montrez Harrell. I'll give you energy. But the passing of this team and Bam specifically been a difference. Yeah, I think it's the passing. I think it's the mentality. Um, you know, all of them play for each other, and it, it shows just the culture that Spo has built there, the mentality that Jimmy Butler has brought to this team. I mean, everybody joked around about getting to the gym early, and then it was the Miami Heat that were getting there at 3.30, 4.30 a.m., and it's showing uh, just the way that they're playing. We had Jimmy on our podcast earlier this year, and we were like, are you surprised by Tyler Hero? Are you surprised by Bam? Are you surprised by none? He's like, no, because they bring it every single day in practice. And the, the shots that Hero's hitting, that people are like, that's unbelievable. He gets mad if Hero doesn't take those because he's right. seen them knock them down continuously. So I think it's just about culture, and you're seeing that, leadership and culture. And you saw it in these two teams we'll see tonight. One of the best games of the year, which the Heat won. Hero steals the ball. No timeout necessary, Zeke. We were here for that. We take timeout. Zeke is not the OG, though he is on set. We're going bigger in size and maybe in persona. Nice. Wow. Just out of curiosity, what did that carriage set you back? I'm like 19 large. Ah, oh, I overpaid. I'm an idiot. Hey, happens to everybody. I bet he overpaid. Me? I didn't overpay. 